Hi there, and thanks for joining us on Philip Capital's Market Watch. I'm Wee Ming Tie, Investment Specialist from Philip Investor Center, Holland Drive. In this episode, I will discuss about the potential return of stagflation. There has been rising concern in recent times over the possibility of stagflation making a return to the United States. This is largely due to the record high level of inflation in the past few months, with inflation reaching 8.5% in March, which is the highest level of inflation seen since 1981. The aggressive interest rate hikes by the Federal Reserve were implemented to control inflation. Stagflation can be characterized by three indicators, slow or negative economic growth, high levels of unemployment and or high levels of inflation. While there is still debate over what exactly caused stagflation in the two periods of stagflation that occurred in the US in the 1970s, two factors were clearly in play. Supply shock and implementation of a contractionary monetary policy. Supply shock is a sudden and unexpected event that has a serious impact on the supply and consequently the price of a product or commodity. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has disrupted the supply of many commodities, such as crude oil, natural gas, wheat and cotton. Russia is one of the world's top exporters of crude oil and natural gas, while both Russia and Ukraine are amongst the world's top exporters of wheat. It is also crucial to note that supply shocks to these commodities will also affect the prices of other related goods, which will further trickle down to cause a rise in inflation rates. It is also important to note that a supply shock to one commodity can have ramifications on the supply and price of other related commodities as well. The shortage of wheat resulting in a rise to the prices of eggs is a good example. Wheat is a key ingredient in chicken feed, essential to the rearing of chickens, hence the supply of eggs. The cost of procuring chicken feed is estimated to make up around 60-70% to 70 of the cost of production of chicken eggs. Hence, the interconnectedness between different commodities show that a supply shock directly affecting a specific commodity or good can have an indirect impact on other related commodities. Another commonly cited cause of stagflation is the implementation of a contractionary monetary policy. When the central bank of any country, the United States Federal Reserve for example, enacts a contractionary monetary policy to keep inflation under control, they will usually increase the benchmark interest rate such as the federal funds rate. However, there is a period of time lag before inflation and other economic indicators such as the unemployment rate to respond. Hence, if unemployment rises and GDP growth falls more quickly than inflation when interest rates increase, the economy will be trapped in a state of stagflation. There are concerns in some quarters that the current batch of rate hikes by the Federal Reserve are too late and will fail to bring inflation down, resulting in a potential recession in the US economy and effectively causing stagflation. However, it seems unlikely that the US economy will enter a period of stagflation as GDP growth is still growing strong and unemployment is low. A key factor to watch out for would be the response time of inflation to the hikes in the federal funds rate, as opposed to how quickly GDP growth and unemployment responds to these moves. Other key events to watch for would be the resolution of the Russia-Ukraine conflict. This would impact how quickly supply disruptions of important commodities like crude oil and wheat, amongst others, will be resolved. That's all for Philip Capital's Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave your comments. Thanks for joining us and see you soon.